Hi, everyone. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do your watercolor experiments. And this is really just a quick activity. Um, I'm not looking for per perfection, just to see you um, doing some experimenting. So what you're going to need is your watercolor set, a paintbrush, and a little container with some water. So I'm just using an old yogurt container. Um, so something you don't care too much about. So we're going to learn um, four different techniques today for using watercolor. Wet on wet, dry brush, a graded wash, drop color wet. No, that one too. So what I want you to do is you can either make um, a page in your sketchbook look like this and just kind of try them out, or you can make a picture with them. Either way is completely fine. Um, it doesn't matter to me. You can make an artwork out of it, or you can just do a little study like I did here. All right. So we're going to start with wet on wet. So to do wet on wet, we're just going to take some water to start off with. And we're going to wet the part of the page that we want to paint on. So I'm just going to do a little square. It's a little bit hard to see. Make this slide. So I'm going to get the page nice and wet. Then I'm going to choose a color. And for this, I want to get my paints also nice and wet. So I'm going to put some water on there and swirl around the color for quite a little while to make sure that color is getting nice and wet. And then I just like drop some of that color into the wet paper. And you can see it kind of spreads around like tie dye. You can do like two sections beside each other and leave a little tiny bit of space. Like I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna leave a little gap in between there and then I can do another wet on wet right beside here in a different color and they should blend together. So if I want like that separation of, all right. So the next one that I wanted to show you was dry brush. And this one is kind of exactly how it sounds. You're gonna kind of dry off your paintbrush. On, I like to do it kind of on the edge of my little yogurt cup. And then you need to pick a color with some water in it, but you want it to, you want to kind of dry it off so there's no pools of water. So I kind of use the inside of this and then I might just take a little paper towel and wipe this off after so it's clean, so just dabbing the inside of that until I get my paint so that it's still wet, but it doesn't have any pools of water. And then a dry brush is just kind of as it sounds, you're just putting the paint on and you can use these kind of streaky type look. So if you're going for a particular effect in your picture, you might want to have a little scrap of paper that you use to dry the brush off until you get it to the desired dryness. Because I kind of think it looks nice when it gets really light. And the next one I wanted to show you was a graded wash. So for the graded wash, I'm going to do purple, let's say. I'm going to get my 
color really nice and wet and pick up as much pigment on there as I can. And then here I'm going to start with my color fairly dark on the edge. And then add, keep adding water to pull that color out and make it lighter and lighter. So with watercolor, we don't usually use white. We use the page itself to lighten the color. And that's why it's called watercolor. Wet color draw. So this one is very similar to this one. We are going to get the page wet, but this time we're gonna do it with a color. So I'm gonna take my purple and I'm going to lay a wet square of purple. And then maybe I'm going to add some red in with that with my purple. So then I just drop red into the other color. So it's like the wet on wet, but instead of dropping the color into just water, plain water, I'm doing it with two colors. And this is going to give you like that darker kind of look. I could even add a third color or fourth color, right? This is gonna give you that darker kind of look. Um, you can add more water if you want to. One other thing I'll show you is you can do, and this one's optional, but you can add salt to your watercolors and it kind of makes a cool effect. So if I get this wet with color and then I use a little bit of salt. So if you have salt at home, you can use it, but this is optional. I'm gonna pour a little bit of salt into my hand And then I take that salt and I just um, put it on my picture. And then I want to let that completely dry. And then you'll get this little speckled kind of look on your um, watercolors. So that's another kind of cool technique that you can use, but this one is optional. So that one is optional. So you wanna do, um, so you wanna use all four, four of these techniques, and you can either make a picture that looks like this, or you can um, make your own, own thing trying out at least these four different techniques. Okay, so have fun with your watercolors. And um, when you're done, upload a picture to our watercolor experimentation project. See you later.